Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here. I've got uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Auto Worlds, Masto, some M2s, Green Lights, Johnny Lightning. I got a little bit of everything this weekend. So we're going to take a look and see what I got. And this first one here is a Hot Wheels Premium Set. And it's a diorama, I guess they call them. And uh, yeah, it's all trucks. It's pretty cool. And this is a Horizon Hauler. Moon Eyes on the side. That thing is sweet. This whole set is very nice. And then you got the uh, 62 Chevy pickup truck there. And it says Hot Wheels on the side. I don't know what else it says. I can't read it, but or see it to read it. So, whatever. And then we got a 1978 Little Red Express truck. And it's black, but it's not red. But it's pretty cool. And then we got the Texas Drive em. Which is pretty sweet. That's the one I really wanted right there. I got the whole set. That's just awesome. Love this set. Very sweet. Cool looking set there. Alrighty, let's carry on. And then I got this Masto design. And the reason I bought it is because of the Mustang on the back. I think this is the first time I ever got one with a regular trunk lid and not a hatchback. So it's pretty cool. It's an international Durastar, Durastar flatbed, an 88 Ford Mustang LX. It is a pretty cool unit, that's for sure. And I'm not sure, but I'm thinking this might be the first time they used uh, international. I'm not sure. I just don't remember them ever putting international on these things. They're always just a regular truck they make up. That's a pretty cool set there. It's a different color green, but eh, it's all right. Don't look bad. Another thing I got here is this M2. It's a Canadian gasser, eh? It's a 1967 Acadian. So here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. I ordered this a long time ago, and it finally came in. I was very excited to see this. This thing is awesome. And of course it's Canada. So that's me. It's where I'm at. So I gotta have it for sure. The thing is sweet. Good looking machine. Very nice. Awesome. And then I got some Auto Worlds. And this one here is Mongoose. This is a 1973 Chevy C10. Now, when I get the rest of the series, I have quite a few of them so far. I just don't have them all. I think there's 12 all together. There is 12 all together, and uh, I haven't got them all yet. So when I do, I'll be making a video on them all. So this thing here is pretty sharp. It's in red. It's mongoose. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Absolutely like like love that one there. That is nice. And then we got another support vehicle which is Chai Town Hustler. This is again pretty sweet. 73 Chevy C10. Not bad at all. Got some flame work on the front the hood there. This thing is pretty nice. The whole set is really nice. But it's just getting them all. It's going to be the hard thing for me to do, I think. But I'm going to try my best. Then I got this here. Mercury Cougar. Now, this is the first time picking up one of these. And where you have to put the wheels on this style. But I like the color. It's kind of a nice deep green. Or military green or something. It's a 1968 and a half. Mercury Cougar R Code. And it is sweet. And I think for me to put that together, I'll probably go with the red line wheels on her. I'm not sure. Maybe the chrome. I don't know. I'm not too sure. It's a pretty sweet machine. It is awful dark. They have a dark background to it, so it's really hard to see. But yeah, that is cool. I really like that. And then I got this here. 1968 Volkswagen Type 2 double cab pickup with a 1920s Indian Scout motorcycle. Now that's uh, 
definitely different. It's not my kind of thing, but it is Indian motorcycle, so I had to get it. It kind of goes with all my dad's collection there, so I had to have this one. And I got her. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Not too bad. And then I got these uh, dually drivers. Now I don't collect dually drivers and there a few weeks back I got a couple of them. And you know what? I can't leave these on the shelf. They're just cool. These older style ones here. 1968 Chevy C30 dually wrecker. And it just says white. These things look so cool. They've done such a nice job on these. So I can't just leave them behind anymore. When I see them, I grab them. So that's uh, pretty sweet. I really like these. I think they did a great job on these. Fantastic. And then there's the other one. And it's 1970 C30 Dually Wrecker. Texaco 24 hour road service. And this is uh, black with the red on her. I don't know. I don't know what it is with these things. I just get drawn to them pretty bad. They're pretty cool. I absolutely love these things. Pretty nice. Ah, I like it. Then I uh, picked up this other one here. Get the price tag off it. This here is a 1980s El Camino Super Sport with spare tires. I don't see a lot of these castings, so that's why I grabbed this one. That's pretty neat. I got one there a few weeks ago, but uh, now I got a blue one. It's pretty sweet. And it comes with some extra tires and rims there. Put on her. It's a pretty nice unit. Very nice unit. I like that. Pretty cool. And what else are we going to do here? I'm going to go with this here. Now, this here. Come from a friend, and uh, this is George. He bring me this here. I met him at Walmart, and he walked over to my truck and handed me this. And it's a Chase, one of 750 pieces. It's 1957 Chevy, 150. And the Chase piece is a top one there, cause it's all in gold. It's pretty sweet. That is a nice unit. All right, they did a nice job with the gold on this one. This one actually looks good. I got the Ford truck one and I didn't care for the truck being all gold. But this one here actually looks pretty sharp. It's a nice little unit. It's a hoist set. I like it. Awesome. And thank you very much, George. I appreciate this. This was just a random act of kindness. This one here. He gave her to me. So that's awful nice. Awesome. Absolutely love that. And then... We got this here, and I've had these on order for quite some time, and I finally got them. This order had been sitting around for about a year, and it finally got delivered. So this here is 1976 Ford F-150 Ranger XLT Trailer Special. It's a flatbed trailer. Now, this is in the yellowy color. I... Uh, I really like this. This is what I collect, these Ford trucks. So yeah, I had to have it. So I grabbed her. That thing is awesome. Nice little flatbed trailer with it. That is nice. This is a tow and hitch series. Pretty sweet. But to go with that one, I bought the Greenie to go with it. This is called the Greenie. And it's, uh, the truck's green with white and the trailer's green. And it looks sharp in this green for some reason. This thing looks good. I don't collect greenies, but it was the Ford truck. So I had to have it. I paid a little bit much for it, maybe, but you know what? I think it's cool. And there's a flatbed trailer, and it's in green. It looks good in that green, too. Even the ramps are green. So this is a greenie. But the truck itself, I think it looks really sharp in that green. I think they should make that just a one of their mainline colors on this truck because it is pretty sharp that is nice love it and then I got this here Foose this here is a 1969 Chevy Camaro Foose 69 Camaro release 43 now I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna move my camera because I'm not gonna be able to do this quite right so 
That Camaro is sweet. That thing is silver with the blue and the white red markings on it. The striping there and then on the hood. This thing is very sharp. I really like this one. It is a hoist. This is my second Foost vehicle I've got. The other one's a Ford pickup truck. I think it's 56. So this is the second one I've ever gotten. Right there. And I really like that. And it comes with the extra wheels and tires. Pretty sweet. And it comes with a screwdriver to, to do it also. That's pretty nice. I like that. But that car is sweet. I think it's going to look good with them tires on her. That's awesome. Love it. Then I got some Johnny Lightning, which I've uh, I've done one series of this already. And this is the second series. Next, I'm going to start with number one. And it's this here. 1973 Grand Am. And it's in blue with the uh, creamy colored interior and roof. And this thing's not bad. I already did the uh, version B of this. This is version A. And that is sweet. Love that casting. Great looking car. Great looking car. And I'm going to have to move my camera down a little bit here because that's a little bit more difficult to do like that. So Then we got here, 2003 Ford Mustang. And this is in a, a charcoal gray, I guess. Pretty sharp machine. I don't remember what the other one was, what color. I'm thinking it might have been red. I'm not sure. I'll have to dig them out and figure that out. But this one here is pretty sharp. Good, clean looking car. Very nice. I'm doing it out of order again because that was number three. And number two here is this 72 Pontiac Firebird Formula. This thing's awesome. Love it. It's a nice casting. They did a fantastic job with this car. I don't even mind that green. I don't know why, but it kind of suits this car for some reason. It is sharp. Nice looking green. It says it's Springfield Green Poly. But yeah, that's nice. Very nice. And then we got the uh, 1950 Chevy 3100 pickup truck. The last one was in white. This one here is in a green, which is pretty cool. Nice casting of this thing. They did a nice job with this truck. I think. I think they did great. Very nice. Good looking machine there. And then we got the uh, van. It's a 1976 Dodge Tradesman's van. Which is a different color. It's kind of a fluorescent -y, kind of orangey red. It's different for sure. It's a, well it says custom Red orange, it's called. But again, casting is very nice. They did a good job of this. Here, plain old panel van. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think I think the other one was green. I believe in this set. It's not as nice. This one does look a lot better. <laughs> and then we have the 1979 International Scout 2. And I think the last one was in blue. And this one here is in red. It's pretty cool. Got tan interior. It's all right. It's called Custom Maroon Metallic, this one. Yet, I don't see a lot of metallic in that paint. But, it is what it is. Still pretty cool casting. Pretty nice. And then, I got all these matchboxes. I'm going to take a look at these ones here, which is a new set that I just found. And this is from France. This is a Tesla Roadster. Now this thing is pretty sharp. It's not a bad color either. I don't mind that color. It's kind of a sporty looking car. I think they did a nice job. It's got nice wheels on it and everything. Of course, it's got details in the front. Headlights and the Tesla marking there and the taillights. I think that's a pretty sharp looking car right there I think they did a nice job on that I do I do think that anyways and this is another one from France it's number two which is Volkswagen transporter crew cab which is kind of neat a little different I've never seen this one before so kind of a neat casting 
I didn't do nothing fancy with the wheels on this one, but well, it's all right. Have a unique little uh, Volkswagen for sure. And then number three here, we got a 2019 flat 500. Now that's a little car. That is a little car. You know, they got detail to them anyways. These things here are not cheap here. They're like $250 a piece. These things, so they should have some detail on them. Unlike the uh, Hot Wheels Flying Customs. Pay a lot of money for them too, and they don't have detail. But these here do match box anyways. Number four. Uh, this is a Renault Kangoo uh, Express. I guess they call that. It's different. It's yellow. It's not bad, I guess. No detail, though, in the front. I think it's because they put all the paint on the side of her. Yeah, there ain't none on the back either. Isn't that something? It's all on the side of her. Yeah, it's still alright. It's cute, I guess. <laughs> and then we have, well, let's go back. Here we got the Lamborghini. This is number five. This is the police. This is uh, pretty cool. Nice little casting of this. Very unique. Police cars are Lamborghinis. That's kind of sweet right there. That is awesome. That's not a bad little car. Now we'll go to the last one, number six. This here is the uh, 2019 Jeep. And it's in a fluorescent green, which is quite a bright green. But it's got detail. Kind of cool. Not a bad car. Or Jeep, I guess they call them. It's still alright. Not too bad. So that was the France set. Now I got the Germany set. Now this one here, the numbers didn't all come up. So this is what I got. This is a Mercedes-Benz uh, F123 station wagon it's called. The color is horrible. It's a terrible. It's like a kind of a pea green, I guess. It's a terrible color, but whatever. It's different. Not too bad, I guess, but it's terrible color not a bad casting I guess I don't know what to say about that really it's Germany it's a different set I don't know it's different and then we have a BMW M5 police car which is kind of cool and neat to see these uh, fancy cars as police cars kind of neat no detail on this one though they must put just all the paint on the side. They call their good. Alrighty. And then we have this Audi. This is an Audi TT RS Coupe. Now this is kind of a sharp looking machine. Not bad in yellow or orange, I guess. A yellowy orange. It's kind of a neat paint. It's almost a pearl paint on it. It's got detail to her on the front and the back. This one here, this one's all cracked. But, yeah, I guess it's whatever. It's okay. Done with that. And then we have we have the Mercedes Benz G500. And this is like a a blue, but it's eh, it's like a metallic-y blue, I guess. It's kind of a neat blue. Pretty cool. Definitely a different blue. I do like it though. Pretty cool little machine. Not bad at all. And then we have the 62 Mercedes-Benz 220 SE, which is kind of neat. It's kind of a different yellow. Kind of a, I don't know what kind of yellow that is. Not a nice yellow, but it's got uh, something written on the top. I can't see what that says. I won't until I watch the video. It's pretty sharp, though. It's got Mercedes on the back. I don't know what else. I think it says Mercedes Matchbox. 62 it's all right not bad pretty cool and then we have the golf gti this is a volkswagen in purple with gray interior it's got some pretty nice wheels on her you got the uh headlights and everything in this one that's got detail to it 
It's not bad. Not a bad machine. Not too bad at all. Well, that's that. That's pretty cool. So, there you go. If you like that, hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.